All right, good evening, my friends. This is not the Spike Valley Ball, so this is a all the tools I use to help make video content on YouTube. Now, I will probably get dunked on because this is going to be probably viewed as very amateurish, but alas, here we are. So this is me recording in OBS, but I'm going to show you how to do it in Streamlabs. The same concepts apply. So this little grouping on the left here, I don't think you can see my mouse pointer, but in this thing here, yeah, you can see my mouse pointer there. It's a group of scenes, okay? I have a WoW Classic scene, Brave Browsers, VLC, Browser Plus Cam. I was doing some playing around with some stuff, but this is the spike scene. So in the spike scene, there are many sources. There's my webcam, which is turned off, but it's there is the spike volleyball, which is a window capture, I might add. To add a source, you just add this little plus sign, and you want to select window capture for the most part. There's also display capture, and let's just click that. You can't see this, but there's display capture. There's a VLC source if you want to play a video in the background. There is also a game capture. Sometimes I've used that. But there's something called display capture, which you show your whole monitor. That's very dangerous, so just be careful with that. But window capture is pretty much the ones I always use. So this is my the spike window capture. It's not visible. This is a little eyeball here. I mean, it's visible. So we're using this Brave browser uh, source. And that's what you're seeing in the background here of Streamlabs. So uh, same concepts in OBS. Uh, and then... OBS also has a record, start recording, and a start streaming button. That's what those do. Uh, very similar concept. This mini feed is something different that uh, Young Sub subscribed to me. That's nice. Uh, <laughs> that's for Twitch, by the way. Uh, Streamlabs is a little bit more complicated. I would recommend using OBS, but unfortunately, you can't record OBS with Streamlabs, which is quite curious. So, anyway, that's it with that. It's Fairly straightforward. Again, it's showing my the scene of Brave Browser 2, which we'll get to later. This is my channel dashboard right there. We'll see, we'll see that in a second. So with this is video editing, VSDC. Let me pull it up here. There it is. So let's just do a quick a quick edit, my friends. Let's call it Project 2. Yeah, fuck it, call it Project 2. Uh, finish. We're going to add a video. You can't see this, but we'll just add a rando video from, I don't know, two weeks ago. Uh, this one's seven minutes long. That's 22 seconds long. Occasionally I start a video and stop it, so, because I sneeze or I got phlegm in my throat or something, but, uh, what happened there? I don't know. Let's just try it again. Let's scroll down. This video is seven minutes long open that bitch and let's go so this is the video so over here you have scene zero this is the entire video over here you should be able to see that there's me so let's say you want to clip a portion of it let's just go to the end when oasis is probably really powered up and you hit this little play button here okay so let's just play this point and then snip it Okay, so then you just pause, and you want to keep this point. There's this thing called cutting and splitting in the editor menu up here. You basically split your video into two pieces, which is reflected over here. There's this piece here, which is the first half, the left half of the video, and this piece here is the right half of the video. Actually, it's the other way around. This is the, this is the left half. This is the right half. So we're going to focus on that. We hit this little play button again. And, okay, let's just let's point. All right, that's that. We hit pause again. We cut and splice. And now it is three sections. And we will grab the middle section here, for example, and pull it over into layer two. Pull it out towards the beginning, for example. And cut the rest of the video and put it back together. And then if we rewind back to the beginning, we can watch this point again. Again, I don't do a lot of editing, but if you do need to, this is free. VSDC is totally free. They will nag you to buy it right off the bat, but you don't have to. You can do everything for free. So here's this point again. 
and there it is. So then, then the video starts over. All so right. Good that's how I do friends. those this edits. Is... That's how I do those edits right there. Uh, and then when you're done, if you're satisfied with your creation, you hit edit project. And I always select this for YouTube here because that makes it uh, in the 29.97 frames per second if YouTube likes. And we'll make your file size a lot smaller. And then hit this export project over here. It will export. And again, you will just watch it progress along. You may have to make some quality, some adjustments to some of the settings. I don't remember exactly what I did. But again, it's fairly straightforward, fairly easy, and it's free. Did I mention that? I love free shit, and speaking of free shit, so you have your YouTube channel. Yes, it's doing great. I'll show you a few things that you can look at. Of course, this is the YouTube dashboard content. Let me do a little flex. I have a video with 99,569 views, which should be over 100,000 tomorrow. Don't hurt your shoulder patting yourself on the back with 1,058 likes. 26 dislikes. Who who are those people? I don't want, I want to know. So again, there's lots of useful stuff on here. We're not going to go into this too much detail, but again, very useful tools that YouTube has provided for you. But they don't provide this, my friends. This is Social Blade. I don't know how much of you... How many of you know about this but this is a very useful tool it, it can do a ton of shit it's free of charge as well uh it says i'm the 4085th rank gaming channel which puts me in the upper 16 percent of all gaming channels that's pretty fucking good i don't really think i'm that special and my subscriber rank which is seems really low i'm in the 600,000th quintile of youtube very strange i only have 2700 subs so one of the useful things they do is this future projections which if we pull it up and look at it it says i'm gonna have a hundred thousand <laughs> i'm gonna have a hundred thousand subs in two years and six months i call shenanigans to that and i will be at 10 million views in a year and some change so so that's that. Again, there's well, there's tons of stuff in here once you dig into it. There's achievements, which I love, by the way. They have a live subscriber count, which it says I have 275. I should have 260, 276.8 right now, I believe. What, what, what was the number? Let's just take a quick gander here. Oh, 2769, my friends. That's excellent. Smash that subscribe button while you're here. So uh, one of the things you can do, which... I'll show you here in a second. It's also very useful, also very free, but your images pretty much become property of Adobe Photoshop. You upload a photo, and it basically crops out the background. So another free tool is Adobe Express. My friends, express.adobe.com. Again, free of charge. I log in with my dog's Facebook and let's say we want to edit a video. So let's just duplicate this real quick. You probably can't see that. Oh, you can see that. So let's do August 18th. It's August 19th. But August 19th, thumb to copy. Just get rid of that shit. Duplicate it. And it does. It duplicates and saves the project. I make the background yellow so I know how it is. So let's just take, let's just edit this real quick. This doesn't take long. It's going to be zero effort as well. Let's see. I always make it 50% so I can see everything line up correctly. We'll upload a photo. You can use some of the stock photo bullshit. It sucks, but I never use any of that stuff. I just open a random photo of a random thumbnail from... I don't know. Let's find a good-looking one. That one looks good right there. That's an Ishikawa block. And you basically see how well you screen cap that. I use a snipping tool to grab these out of videos. And uh, it's actually a pretty good snip, I must say. It doesn't need to get blocked like a motherfucker. So then I just add text and add the text here. You know, double click to edit. Just make it old Doyle rules. 
Okay, move that around. This is very user friendly, very easy to use. Uh, you know, I don't like that base text. I use quicksand bold. That's just me. Uh, shadow red and outline black. And that's really it. Move it to where it looks the best. You can even add another another image to this. Uh, again, we'll use the potato lol. Uh, yeah, there's potato lol. We can move him over there. Actually, let's move him. It doesn't really matter where we move him. And you can resize him, make him bigger. Also created with the Adobe Background Tool uh, removal tool. So and that's that. You just download it as JPEG or a PNG, and you are good to go. So, last but not least, holy shit, 11 minutes. I didn't think it would take this long. If you're tempted to put music in the background, my friends, do not put copyrighted music in your videos because they will get flagged, my friend. Trust me, I've tried to sneak this in multiple times in the past, way long time ago. I tried two very obscure pieces, and they both got flagged. But there is tons of royalty-free music of any kind, and it's quality stuff. Let's just take a quick listen to this stuff. I mean, that's okay if you're into that kind of thing. I sort of am. But uh, there's also a site called MUS Open. If you're into classical music like us geezers, you can use that as well. Again, I don't want you to get copyright striped, my friends. And you'll only get a slap on the wrist at first. You may get kind of warned that your, your, your content's being monetized by the copyright holder of the music. So just be careful of that. That's a trap that a lot of people fall into, my friends. So... Again, this is just the first search, freemusicpublicdomain.com, a rando search on quant.com. Don't use Google, my friends. That's also spyware. Christian music, not my cup of tea, but female vocals. That's actually pretty good. Ethereal sounds and effects, all public domain music. So take advantage of these resources. So that's it. That's all we're going to do. Hope you found this at least a small bit of help. Thank you for watching. I'll put links to all this shit in the comments below. Have a good day and have a good night.